Joining us now here on the MMA Report is a man that's going to be in the main event of Shamrock FC 275 on September 9th as he's going to be taking on Aaron Highfield. It's Mike Brazel, who's 3-1 and one in his career, first fight since July of 2012. So, Mike, it has been some time. What has been going on with you since your last fight? I've uh, been being a father, trying to provide. I had to step away because I felt like I wasn't giving my family enough attention. I wasn't providing like I should, so I had to get a full-time job, had to get health insurance, you know, all the adult responsibilities of being a father. What became the point when you, you realized that you, you wanted to step back into uh, into the mixed martial arts arena? I mean, I've always had the itch. It, like, it never went away. I always wanted to. It just things kind of just fell apart for the last couple of years. I went through some some serious stuff. And then I just i am falling back on what I know, what I'm comfortable with, competing. Fighting goal has just been something that has gotten me through tough times, something I've always come back to. And then also I need uh, the cash. So I spent, you know, the last eight years developing this skill. It's time to put it to work. You know, they always – I know some fighters are believers in, in cage rust. Some fighters believe that it's just mentally. It's it's a mental thing. For you, are you expecting when you step into the cage on September 9th that there's going to be a little rust, or you, or do you feel like you've got all that out uh, inside the gym? Um, it's – it's fight night's different. Fight night's its own beast. Um, I'm sure there'll be a minute or two of – Getting back in and having the lights on, having the crowd there, hearing everybody, you know, the whole build up to the fight. It's just as much mental and emotional as it is physical. So I don't feel like it'll be anything. I mean, I've been here before. I've been main event before. I've had big wrestling matches in my life, big football games in my life. So the pressure is something I'm comfortable with. I'm used to. So maybe ring rust, maybe not. I mean, I guess it'll have to find out that night. Do you feel like, um, you know, are you, are you the type of fighter that, you, you, do you feel that pressure on, on fight night? Uh, or, or is it one of those things that if you didn't feel that pressure or maybe uh, feel those nerves on fight night, you might be a little concerned? Yeah, I would think that. I, I honestly don't think any fighter doesn't have that pressure, doesn't feel that that nervousness. And if I didn't feel it personally, I don't think I'd be mentally ready. I mean, it's, it's pressure. It's a big fight. This is important. Like I said, I'm providing for my daughter so this is big this is my family so if i didn't feel that pressure then i'm not doing it right will your daughter be at your fight no she's three <laughs> have she you told me the other night she doesn't want me to wrestle she <laughs> saw the a guy with the bloody eye so she's like poppy i don't, I don't want you to do that uh, is there have you are have you kind of sat her down and, and talked about you know this is what dad does Yep, we were actually watching. She's she likes watching my videos. She likes watching the, the fight to see what it is. She gets scared. Mm-hmm. She actually almost cried the other night talking to me about it. But talk to her about it. Explain that I'll be okay. Everything's okay. I'm choosing to do it. She actually likes to put on my wrist wraps and put on her Spider-Man boxing gloves and go to town on the mitts. And of course, uh, the opponent here is Aaron Highfill. Uh, you know, first off, how how familiar were you with Aaron before even uh, getting this fight offer from Shamrock? Not at all. I, I mean, I think I'd heard the name before, but I really don't know Highfill. I watched what I could on him. He looks like a game fighter. He looks strong. Looks like a good wrestler. It was aggressive. I mean, should be fun. This type of fight, this type of fighter, gets me excited. For a fight, somebody who wants to come and fight, because it, it, it get through all of the uh, the mixed martial arts and the jujitsu and the boxing. It, it's a, it's a fight, and you got to have that fight mentality that kill or be killed. In, in terms of the challenges that he brings to the cage, I mean, wh- what do you see as the biggest challenge? He looks like a strong guy. He looks like a strong wrestler. Uh, he looks mentally tough. He looks like he'll come, and uh, you're going to have to stop him. If you want to win, because he'll keep going till the end, it looks like. In terms of uh, for you, obviously, first fight in a long time. Is it is this more about proving something to yourself more than anything else? Yeah, it is a big part of it for me. Like I said, I'm trying to provide for my daughter Charlie, but also I've been 
through a lot of stuff the last four years, and it's a uh, it's a big mental thing for me as well as uh, growing as a person, proving something to myself that no matter how hard life knocks me down, I'm gonna come out swinging no matter what. I'm getting back up and I'm gonna keep fighting. For you, if 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 I tell you you're gonna go out there and have uh, an A plus type performance, you're gonna go out there and just look incredible. What what would that mean to you? I mean, what would that require you doing? Um, really just performing to the level I know that I can, as well as installing the new types of my game, new parts of my game, the things that I've been working on evolving, not looking like the same fighter that I was, as well as getting a stoppage. Do you feel that maybe one of the biggest advantages for you in this fight is that, you know, Aaron can go back and yes, he can go back and look at your four professional fights, but ultimately, you know, those were, you know, four plus years ago that you, the big advantage for you is the guy he is preparing for is not the guy that's walking into the cage on September the 9th. Yeah, definitely. I think that's a huge advantage. Yeah. Nobody's seen me or trained with me for four years. I mean, got to select few guys that are, still around that I have gone and trained with. Uh, but, yeah, for right now, it's there's a mystique about me that what am I going to bring on September 9th? What have I grew? What have I grown in? What have I added to my arsenal? Uh, yeah, so I actually think it's a huge advantage, to be honest with you, that kind of like a ghost, you know. The name sounds familiar, but the guy is different. As we're talking here, we're still a couple weeks out from the fight. It is kind of would you just describe your emotions at this point of just you're just excited to to finally be stepping back in, into action? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean that's so that's, that's what it's about. I mean I got a bunch of family and friends coming. I got fight main event. It's it's excitement. Like, like we talked about earlier, there's the nerves there. Not being not doing it for four years, but. Again, I've been in a situation before, had the pressure on me, so it's exciting. It's, you know, build up to the fight is always emotional. You know, going through those things and add on to it. I haven't done it for four years, so excitement is the best way to describe it. Mike, I really appreciate time. Good luck here at Shamrock FC 275. Of course, main event coming up here on September the 9th. Mike, man, appreciate time. Good luck in the fight, man. Thanks for the phone call. Have a good day.